Hello everybody and welcome to another Physics Weekly Window where I take a look back over the past week and see what's been going down on YouTube. So I'm going to be doing these weekly windows every Friday from here on out just to make things a little bit easier, get a little bit of a routine going so you know exactly when I will be reporting the news. I've got several news stories today coming at you from several different parts of YouTube. First thing I want to say is please do leave a like if you enjoy the video and subscribe if you want to help support me and my channel. We are getting so close to a thousand subs guys, so close! So thank you so much to everyone who supports me. I just want to say, advertisers out there, please stop demonetizing my videos. This is getting out of hand. I made a nice peaceful video on mindfulness, teaching people how to do breathing exercises and how to minimize their anxiety, and you demonetized it! Why? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that video! No swearing! It's just, come on, man. So, hey, let's roll that intro. Jesus Christ, guys, all hell is breaking loose. YouTube is ripping apart at the seams. So much is going on, guys, and I've got it all here today. Every last little detail of this crazy story. If you like this video, if you love this video, you gotta ram that like button. Ram it for me, baby. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome to another weekly window. Today, I do have some fiery stories. The, the whole of YouTube is tearing apart at the seams. No one knows what's true and what's a lie. Seems we have two opposing opinions on a certain matter. This is involving FaZe Banks and Team 10. It, it's all allegations up in the air as to whether FaZe Banks assaulted Jake Paul's assistant. That is story number one. Coming up at story number two, we have got the poopy pants story. Did Jake... <laughs> it seems like the neighbours of Jake Paul have given us the truth on what happened involving Chance's poopy pants that were thrown over into the neighbour's garden. Seems it goes a lot deeper than just poopy pants. Finally, we have Clarissa May and her unbelievable rape allegations that, again, it's really hard to determine what the truth is and what isn't, but I will leave that down to you guys. I've got a couple little bits of information towards the end of the show, uh, including some films that are coming out and some little tidbits like that. So without further ado, let's do like those prairie dogs do and burrow right into this one. So guys, I'm going to lay down the facts then it's entirely up to you to decide. In my opinion, there is strong evidence from both FaZe Banks and Team 10 as to whether this could be true or not. So for those of you that don't know, this is a really, really big story at the minute. Uh, it, it's basically come out that members of Team 10 have accused FaZe Banks of assaulting Jake Paul's assistant. So it goes down like this. There were both members of Team 10 and FaZe Banks' crew all at Warwick's which is a club so apparently Jake Paul's assistant was leaving and as she was FaZe Banks basically clotheslined her grabbed her around the neck and pulled her over to where his table was now that's pretty shocking in of itself whether it's true or not that is pretty shocking FaZe Bank then goes on to tweet out claiming that this is absolute nonsense that it didn't happen at all so this story gets completely <laughs> convoluted in every single way when on Twitter things start coming out of the woodwork this boy Taylor Kniff who is apparently a big star in the social media world he says I don't want to get involved but these team 10 kids are lying I was with Banks Wednesday night I reserved my own table with a friend so more and more confusing by the minute and he then goes on to say we was minding our own business then some max kid comes up says he owns team 10 then tries blacking us out at our table i think he's referring to knocking them out this pretty much put absolute confusion into my mind but it gets worse so this for me was the final nail in the confusion coffin this coming from nick crompton on twitter he puts out a message saying we would never lie to our fans this is a serious matter and now it's in the police's hands and with this he attaches some private dms which says but she walked by your table last night at warwick and you basically clotheslined her uh, phase bank responds with wait what the 
Who even is that? And are you 100% sure it's me and I did that? Not gonna lie, I don't remember much. I was definitely at Warwick last night. I'm like a really big guy and sometimes I'm unaware of like my surroundings and shit. Obs, if I actually did that, it was 10,000% on accident and I'm really, really sorry. I lost my phone last night. Da, 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 da. So this for me was the, the real thing that made this absolutely baffling. You know, for me, when I saw this, I thought, he must have done it. He must have done it. He's literally saying here that he did do it. But that wasn't the end of it. It goes on even further. When FaZe Bank responds in his own YouTube video, he claims that he could have been drugged. He claimed that Team 10 were constantly buying him drinks throughout the night, but he said he was uh, more than just drunk. His friend said that she was being sent texts by him that made no sense at all saying that he was scaring her because it's a 33 minute video and it's very hard to concisely show you any of it uh, basically I'm gonna put a link to that video in the description I recommend if you want to know about this in more detail go and check out that video it's it's very it, it does shine an interesting light on this but basically it all boils down to the fact that FaZe Banks doesn't really know what happened because he was drunk but Nick Crompton in his messages said clearly that it was probably an accident if he did do it and that it, that's a massive contrast to Jake Paul's video where they basically said that he in, intentionally assaulted her in in aim of doing some damage the thing is I know Jake Paul to be a complete liar when things come down to it he has lied about so many things blatant lies so this is what makes it very confusing for me the thing is I don't know FaZe Banks that well so I can't make a good judgment on this and I'm not going to it would be completely unfair of me to judge this in any which way that's down to you guys. So, have a quick look at this, and then if you want to see more, check out that link. Okay. <clears throat> Before I say anything about the situation at hand, please watch the entire video, hear me out, and just come to your own conclusion. And excuse me, I know I'm frazzled right now, but who wouldn't be? I don't think I've ever been this mad or upset in my whole life and it's for good reason. So if you don't already know, this is a response to Jake Paul's video, my assistant was assaulted. And I have quite a few things to say about this situation. I first wanna come out and say, 99% of what this kid said in his video was absolutely fabricated and not true. Next up we have a story that was very divisive for me. I was unsure whether to feel sympathy or whether to be upset. Basically this involves Clarissa May. Recently she put out a video titled, Your Favourite YouTube Star May Be A Rapist. <sighs> there are so many problems with this video, so many problems that really, really upset me. I'm going to show you a little clip from that video so you get a bit of context for this. Now, I know I put a little subtitle up earlier about the sigh from FaZe Banks at the start of his video, and I'm afraid the same rule does apply to this video. Hey everyone, it's Clarissa, and I'm coming at you guys today with kind of a crazy, really weird video. Hey guys, I'm coming at you with a crazy rape story, woo! Um, if you guys are watching this right now, please share this video, pass the link around, Twitter, Instagram, your family, your friends, wherever you can, with whoever you can, and be sure to give it a thumbs up so more people can see this video, because- Terrible. Disgusting. Disgusting manipulation tactic from you, Clarissa. Now, I try not to put my opinion into things on my news show, but in this case, I'm gonna do just that because this has really upset me, and I don't wanna have to make another video on it, but I really do think I have some important things to say on this. Clarissa, you have screwed up your chances big time. You have screwed it up entirely. If you really wanted to raise awareness about this, you could have done that. You could have easily done that, but now you've lost any chance of doing that because you have an alternate agenda. 
and it's obvious it's very obvious so in this video she basically explains that there is this rapist sexually assaulting people her and her friends and that's absolutely terrible if that's true that is awful no good no 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 good absolutely terrible rape and sexual assault are two very important things to me that need flushing out of this world but you have screwed up your chances to actually raise any awareness for this so your channel is dying that's no secret and i believe this video was created entirely to gain more subscribers to gain views to gain attention to gain traction to gain relevancy i don't think you really wanted to raise awareness at all you know if you actually wanted to raise awareness why don't you do that why don't you go out join support groups talk tell people about your story tell people about your friend's story that would be a good way of raising awareness i had a little look in your description you have two phone numbers uh, two uh, sexual hotline numbers both from america you do realize the rest of the world needs awareness on this as well don't you you realize there are other countries, not just America, that also have phone numbers for this kind of thing. If you really wanted to raise awareness, then you should know that other people will, that other countries will be watching your video. You could have put several phone numbers from different countries so everyone has that support. You could have put websites to support groups. You put, could have put websites to people that uh, don't know what to do and they're in a difficult situation. You've screwed this up big time. Well done for that. Now because you've done this, now Keemstar has also found that in the tags of this video she wrote two names, Jake Paul and Cameron Dallas. She won't explain who's done this. All she says is it's your favourite social media star. This video is nothing but a shitty exposed video. That is all it is. And you've effed up your chances to raise awareness in every single way. Putting Jake Paul and Cameron Dallas in the tags? Na 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 na. That's a way to lose respect from people because that shows clearly you are doing this to gain views. The, you shouldn't have the intention in wanting, of wanting to gain views from this. If <laughs> You should just be happy with whoever watches it that awareness has been raised. And don't f***ing tell me that you put those names in there so that more people would be aware of this matter. Bullshit. 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 <laughs> okay, so uh, the bottom line is this is a disgusting thing if it's happened and you could have helped this situation but you really haven't. And you won't say who's done it. So Keemstar probed her to find out who'd done it, and I think that's disgusting and slimy, Keemstar, you manipulative son of a bitch, but never mind that. He went ahead and probed her, and she said she doesn't want to get a lawsuit from this because of how famous this person is. So you're basically saying you are scared of repercussions. I mean, if this was true, and you pursued this, and it's happened to you and your friends from the same one person, then you would clearly be able to get somewhere with it. You're just scared of repercussions when you could, this guy is out there raping people, this guy is out there sexually assaulting people, and you're quite happy with that, are you? You're going to raise awareness about it, but not actually fix the issue. Christ. Christ almighty. Bad. Tut, 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 fucking tut. tut. Okay, that's uh, 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 enough about the rape allegations now. Let's move on to the poopy pants story. So this story, it's pretty weird, it's pretty wild, and it's coming from Team 10. Basically, what happened was some pants turned up in Jake Paul's neighbor's garden. But not only were they pants, they were pants filled with shit. Shit and vomit. But the mystery just gets even more bizarre when Chance's ID card is found within these pants. This was a mystery for quite some time, but it has come to light what actually went down. One of Jake Paul's neighbours who, whose garden this was reached out to uh, Keemstar and explained the situation. And good God, it is so much worse than I thought. So this guy has cameras set up all around the garden and they saw not only was it Chance but several other members of Team 10 running wild around the garden smashing up everything in sight, absolutely destroying this guy's garden and everything in it. 
You scumbags. I've said it before. Total scumbags. Uh, but it seemed like they were not only drunk, but possibly high on substances. You kind of would have to be to do things like that. Um, so, you bunch of morons. Why do you keep doing the stupidest things? You are relentlessly moronic. And... Jesus Christ, Nick Crompton had the cheek to say that he was going to threaten legal action because apparently these cameras could see slightly into the Team 10's uh, garden. Just stupid. Get real. Get a grip on yourselves. Stop being so unbelievably irresponsible. Stop, I mean, actually have a little bit of thought, a little bit of empathy. You're just soulless demons at this point. Evil, soulless demons. No care for anyone. You will trash whoever's property you want. Disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself. Someone really needs to daddy up on you guys. Where are your parents? Where are your parents in all of this? Have you given up on them as well? Do you Have you stopped caring about your own damn parents? Have you forgotten the face of your father? To quote The Dark Tower. If you haven't seen that film, it's, it's okay. It's not too bad. So... Stupid. Just stupid. If you want to see that video, there's a link in the description. I'm not going to show any clips of it because there's just no need to. So in the description, we have FaZe Bank's response video. We have Clarissa May's rape allegation video. We have the information regarding the poopy pants story. It's all there, guys. If you want to see it, you check that out. I'll leave you to decide on whether you think FaZe Banks is in the wrong or whether Team 10 is in the wrong. And I'll let you decide whether Clarissa May is a manipulative or whether she was actually trying to raise some awareness so our final bit of information is uh, if you guys have been watching me from the start i mean the very start when i was doing nothing but gaming videos you would know that i love horror i love horror so very much and one of my all-time favorite horror movies is The Shining. I love Stephen King and Stanley Kubrick. You are just magical. Your films are incredible. Your camera work, your uh, the soundtrack design, it's just beautiful. And I was amazed to see this advert of It. It is returning. There's a remake. And I am usually drastically opposed to every single remake that ever was. But... I think in this case it could be interesting to see what a revamped version could be like. People are already saying that the guy playing the clown is doing a good job, a fantastic job. So this film is coming out in uh, September. If you guys don't know, it is a book by Stephen King and after there was a mini series that came out in the 90s and now returning to our screens again. And I am so, so hyped for that. I really am. And not only am I hyped for that, I'm also hyped for Mother. If you guys haven't heard of Darren Aronofsky, then you, you really should have. So Darren Aronofsky is the director of the masterpiece Requiem for a Dream. A very untrue to life masterpiece but it's a fantastic film nonetheless and it's more likely that you guys would have heard of black swan which is another fantastic film and now mother is going to be a horror masterpiece like no other i'm already so hyped for the soundtrack so that is every last little bit of information i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching guys if you've enjoyed please do f that like button and subscribe if you want to help support me and my channel, I will see you in the next one.